Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now answering question number eight um, from the January 2024 Pure Mathematics P2 paper from the Edexcel International A-Level Exam Board. And this question eight, part one, is about proof by what's called counterexample. So it says, use a counterexample to show that the following statement is false. n squared plus 3n plus 1 is prime for all n as elements of the natural numbers. So the first thing we have to understand is what does it mean by natural number? The natural numbers are the numbers that you count with, okay? Like starting from 1, 2, 3, 4. The whole numbers, okay? So the set of natural numbers are basically the set of positive integers, starting from 1. You don't start counting from 0, start counting from 1. So the positive whole numbers, the positive integers. Okay, that's what a natural number is. So um, we got to show that this is prime for all values, for all natural numbers, or we got to show that this statement is false, okay, by finding one example that proves it to be false. So we can just start going through when n equals 1, see what happens. You're going to get 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 1. That's going to give you 1 plus 4 plus 1. That's going to be Sorry, 1 plus 3, that's 4 plus 1, that's 5. Okay, that is that is prime. So that doesn't that doesn't prove the statement false. It proves it, well, it shows that it's true for the, at least that value. Try for n equals 2. You're going to get 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 1. That's going to be 4 plus 6, 10 plus 1, 11. That is still prime. So still not proven false when n equals 3. 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus 1, that's 9 plus 9, that's 18 plus 1, which is 19. Okay, which again is prime, so still it hasn't been proved false. When n equals 4, you're going to get 4 squared, which is 16, plus 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 1. So 16 plus 12, that's 28, plus 1, that's 29, that's still prime. So it still hasn't been proved false. When n equals 5, you're going to have 5 squared plus 3 times 5 plus 1. That's going to give you 25 plus 15. Okay, 25 plus 15, that's going to be 40. 25 plus 15, that's uh, 40. That's going to be 41. Is that right? 25 plus 15, that's going to give you yeah, 41. 41, is that prime? Yes, it is prime. Okay, so n equals 6. 6 squared plus 3 times 6 plus 1. That's going to give you 36 plus 18 plus 1. So 36 plus 18. That's going to give you 54 plus 1. That's 55. That looks like the one that's not prime. Okay, just make sure 6 squared plus 3 times 6 plus 1. 55. That's right. So we can see 55 is not prime. Of course, 55 is divisible by 5 as well. Remember, a prime number is a number which has exactly two factors, no more and no less. So 55 has more than two factors, has more than two factors. Okay. It has 5 and 1 and it has 11, it has 55. There's more than two factors, therefore not prime. Okay, so when when n equals six, n squared plus three n plus one gives us a non prime number fifty five, therefore. The statement is false. The statement is false. Okay, that's how you should prove um, in such cases. You find one example which proves the statement to be false, and that's 8.1, proof by counterexample. Now, part two says, use algebra to prove by exhaustion that for all natural numbers, n squared minus 2 is not a multiple of 4. Okay, when we're dealing with multiples of 4, then we can 
think of in terms of numbers which are odd and even, especially when you're going to square the number. All right, when you square a number which can be expressed as an even number or as an odd number, you're going to have things which will be be able to be expressed as multiples of four. Okay, because for example, if you choose n equals two, for example, two k, that will that will include all the even numbers that exist. Okay, all the evil numbers, even evil, all the even numbers that exist. And if you choose n as, for example, 2k plus 1, that will include all the odd numbers that exist. For different values of k, you will get all the odd numbers that exist. So, for example, when k is 1 here, you're going to get, like, let's say k is 0, for example, here. Right? When k is 0, you're going to have n equals 0. When k is 1, you're going to have n equals 2. When k is 2, you're going to have n is 4. When k is, you know, 3, 6, and so on. Whatever value of k you have, the number that comes out of this will be an even number. And... If you choose, for example, k equals 0, you're going to have n equals 1, which is going to be an, um, you know, um, an odd number. When k equals 2, you're going to have... Uh, when k equals 1, you're going to have um, 3. When k equals 2, you're going to have 5. So you have 1, 3, 5, 7. So this will generate all of the odd numbers that exist. So together, we will, we'll have exhausted all the numbers, all the natural numbers that exist if we, if we consider these two expressions. Okay? And in this case, we can say where k is an element of the positive or, or the integers. We can say the integers. Okay. Um, I guess we could say natural numbers. Okay. K is an element of the integers, we could say. That's fine. It would still work. All right. In, in both those cases. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to put this into the expression. So we're going to consider when n equals 2k, we're going to put it into this expression. We're going to have 2k all squared minus 2, which gives you 4k squared minus 2, which is basically uh, minus 2, not 4, minus 2. All right, so we can show that this is not a multiple of 4 because this is 4 multiplied by something. Okay, 4 multiplied by an integer, minus 2. 4 multiplied by an integer, minus 2. Okay, so we can say that this is, we can consider this number to be 2 less than a multiple of 4. 2 less than a multiple of 4. So we can express it in terms of multiples of 4. So this is not a multiple of 4 because it's 2 less than a multiple of 4, therefore not a multiple of 4. So anything which is, you know, if, if it's one less or two less or three less or more than a multiple of four, then it's not a multiple of four. So this gives you an expression where, you know, any even number. So you can say, therefore, all, all even numbers, okay, used in the expression, in the expression, n squared minus 2, okay, will not be multiples of 4. We've just proved that now. Okay, by doing that, we proved that every single even number, this represents every single even number that you can put in here, will give you something which is 2 less than a multiple of 4, therefore it will not be a multiple of 4. Okay, and then we're going to try n equals 2k plus 1. We could also use 2k minus 1. Okay, and um, in fact, yeah, if you use 2k minus 1, it's probably better because that will then include, it'll start from 1 then when k equals 1. Okay, so I, then I can put this as a, um, a natural number. I'll just do this. They'll be better. Okay, so k is an element of the natural numbers. Okay, and I'll, I'll write this as 2k minus 1. That's probably better. Why? Because... Um, when k is equal to 1, um, you're going to get 1. When k is equal to 2, I mean, k is equal to 1, you're going to get, for this, you're going to get 2, for this, you're going to get 1. So you start from 1, 2, 3, 4, you'll get all the natural numbers in directly. So k is an element of the natural numbers. If n equals 2k, and equal, n equals 2k minus 1, we will have all the numbers starting from the first natural number, which is 1, and all the 
odd numbers after that and when n equals uh, k equals one you'll have n equals two and then as k increases you get all the even numbers after all the all of the even numbers all the all of them okay from you know from two to an infinity so basically um we have n equals 2k minus one if we put that into our expression we're going to get 2k minus one squared minus two that's going to give you 4k squared minus if you multiply these together and double it you're going to get 4k you're going to get plus one and then you're going to get minus two okay that's what this gives you when you expand it so that's going to give you 4k squared minus 4k minus one and as we can see here this is going to be four times k squared minus k minus one now this will be an integer for sure because you're going to have an integer squared minus an integer that'll be an integer so you have four times an integer minus one which is going to be one less than an, a multiple of four one less than a multiple of four okay so that means not a multiple of four because if something's one less than a multiple of four it won't be a multiple of four so we can therefore say um all odd numbers okay all odd numbers used in the expression is in the expression will not be multiples of four as they are one less they'll all be one less than a multiple of four multiple of four sorry about my bad writing now you could even test it out yourself if you wanted to like if you put for example an even number in here you're going to get um, 4 minus 2. That's going to be 2 less than a multiple of 4, as we saw. If you put 4 in here, it's going to be 16 minus 2, which is 14, which is, again, it's 2 less than a multiple of 4. If you put an even number in here, like, for example, 9, you'll have 9 squared, so 81 minus 2. Okay, 81 minus 2 is going to give you 79, which is going to be 1 less than a multiple of 4, because 80 is a multiple of 4, and so on. So any even number will give you something which is two less than a multiple of four and any odd number will give you a number which is one less than a multiple of four so therefore there will not the no there'll be no number at all we've exhausted all possibilities exhaustion here means you've exhausted all the even numbers and all the odd numbers and they will all give you expressions which you can show are not multiples of four now sometimes it says if it said multiples of three then using n equals 2k and 2k minus 1 won't help us because we'll end up with expressions which we cannot see whether they are multiples of 3 or not. Okay, so sometimes you've got to be, uh, for this case, multiple of 4, when you put something which is even, you know, or like in terms of 2k or 2k minus 1 in this expression, you end up with something which we can express in terms of multiples of 4 as we saw. However, if we said multiples of 3, then we have to find another way use n equals 3k n equals 3k plus 1 n equals 3k minus 1 then when you use these expressions uh, in the you know um, and use these values in the expressions that you get you'll be able to find uh, express those things in terms of multiples of 3 or even 9 in some cases if you square them or cube them and then you'll be able to proceed and test whether they are uh, going to you know uh, give you multiples of 3 or whatever so sometimes you have to think carefully. You can't always use even and odd. You can't always use 2k and 2k minus 1. In this case, we can because we see the expression we get will give us something which we can, we can see them in terms of multiples of 4 or not. Okay, so that's something that we have to keep into mind. That's something that some students sometimes ask. So there's what we have to be a bit careful. So that's question 8 completed. Yep. So other questions from this particular um, this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear at the end of the video here. You'll be linked to it by, by that link over there. The link over here will take you to the topic of proofs from P2. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link here. 
and you can watch a video which is linked over here which t teaches you how to use my channel to find things more efficiently that you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.